Hello everybody and today we are going to work on the electrical plan for our house and uh, there's a couple of things that we could do with this. Uh, one we're going to do be doing this in a detailed view so I'm going to show you how to set up a sheet for that and then we are also going to uh, potentially put the actual lights in the house and switches in the house so you can see them there as well. All right. So this is gonna be looking at the placement of all electrical outlets and switches and all that stuff. So the first thing that we wanna do is go to our ground floor plan. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, you have everything placed where you want it, all of uh, your sink, dishwashers, countertops, and all that stuff. Uh, once that's done, then you can figure out where you're gonna put the layout for your switches and also for um, outlets. Once you have your ground floor view, you're gonna right click on it Duplicate view and hit duplicate. So now you have an alternate view. You're gonna right click on it, rename it, electrical plan. So now we have a clean slate to work on. Any of your items such as this stuff that we have here, like the toilet, the sink, uh, bathtub, sink, countertops, all of this, we, want to, we actually want to hide that in view a little bit. So I'm going to take a box and drag it down. Uh, let me go this way. I'm going to go click and drag up to the left, right click, override graphics in view, by element, half tone. Hit OK. Notice that it grays it out a little bit. We're going to do the same for any of our kitchen stuff. So draw a box. Okay, so it's going to be click draw to the left and notice it selects everything that it touches right click hot in view elements Oop. back that up click drag again right click override graphics in view by element half tone okay so now that's all and you're going to do that to anything in any of your rooms and your beds any of that stuff um furniture you can actually hide in view uh, any of this stuff that you just, you could do a half tone. Um, either way is fine. Now that we have that, that is our part, that is the beginning of our electrical plan. Now what we're gonna begin to do is place our outlets. Now outlets and switches are all gonna be placed according to our residential uh, building codes and electrical codes. And you're gonna have to look at these and see like, oh, um, Receptacle shall be installed so that no point measured horizontally along the floor and any wall space is more than six feet. So you, you could be placing them every six feet and you can see how they are here. And then there's also things like where they're going to be, where you're going to put the GFCIs and all that. I'm just going to go into basics of how to place them in and uh, how to make the general floor plan, but it's up to you to follow these rules. And let's go back to Revit. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my outlets. So I'm going to go to Component, Load Family. Should bring up our US Imperial. And I'm going to go to Electrical, Architectural, Electrical Power, uh, Distribution. Actually, first I'm going to put in my electric panel. So I'm going to take that electric panel, bring that in. And um, I'm going to put it on this exterior wall right here in the kitchen. So that's my electric panel. Right click. Cancel, so now we have that. Component, we're gonna go to load family again. I'm gonna bring in my outlets. Electrical, means architectural. Distribution, oops, sorry, it's the next one up. Terminals, and we're gonna go, there's outlet duplex, GFCI. I'm gonna do that one first, because I'm gonna put a couple of those in the bathrooms and in the kitchen. Now I'm actually, you know what, let's select a bunch of these. Okay, so I select all those, hit open. Give it a second to load. So there's the single switches and everything else. So let's look for that GFCI. Let's go panels right there. So single GFCI. And notice that you can only put these on the wall. So I'm gonna put one here. Well, let's do Zoom in there. Okay, so I have these scattered around the kitchen. We'll do go to the bathroom. I have one in this bathroom right here. So those are my GFIs. 
Okay, I'm gonna go now, change it to uh, outlet. So I have an outlet for my range. That's where that one is. And then I have regular outlets. Okay, now I'm just randomly placing these in. Just showing you how it goes. Okay, so those are outlets there. Okay, so those are all outlets. And now with the switches, uh, we could do things like sw uh, dimmer switches and all that stuff. I'm just gonna go to, uh, let's see, I'll do a dimmer switch. switch. There. These are controlling the lights in the rooms. Okay, so those switches. And so those outlets, switches, and then we can actually put in detail items. Now our detail items, uh, there's a bunch on Google Classroom that I put up. These are gonna say detail items next to them, things like ceiling fans and lights. So and for these, you're gonna go to out, annotate, uh, component, so annotate, detail component right here, load family. So you can look in here, but I'm pretty positive there's nothing else in detail items here. Um, I have them, uh, some in my downloads folder here, so I'm gonna go here and I see things like ceiling fan, electrical fan. So I want my electrical fans, lights, some outlets and switches. I'm gonna bring in all that stuff. Pending it, any issues, good. So now you can see here that these are different types of outlets. So I'm gonna go over now and I got my electrical items here. There might be more, I think I put a bunch up in there. And I'm gonna got the switches already in. Let's look for my ceiling fan. So I have ceiling fan with light. And you bring this in, I'm gonna put one in my kitchen, one here, one in each bedroom. Okay, so now I have ceiling fans. I'm gonna put in a bathroom fan with light. Like that. And then I can put in recessed can lights um, in certain areas of the house. Those are my recessed can lights. I could do uh, I could do them in the in the bedrooms as well. But this is the basic idea. Next part is we need to draw in the actual electrical line. So this switch is what it's going to control, and that switch and what it's going to control. So to do this, I'm just going to hit escape a couple times. I am gonna go into manage, and then from manage, we are gonna go into additional settings, line styles, and we are gonna go into new, electrical. So there is electrical, whoops. I forgot my L. That is gonna be a four weight line and it's going to be a dashed line. 1 16th dash, hit apply, and okay. Now I can go in and draw my, my lines in. So I'm gonna go back to annotate, detail line, and then click over here in line style, electrical. These electrical lines are typically all curved. So you can do this a number of different ways. Um, I'm gonna do it as a spline. So it goes like this, I'm gonna go from here. So that switch controls the fan and light. Right click, cancel. Now I'm gonna go from these. Right click, cancel. So now that switch controls all those. Just like that. Same thing with here. And I'm gonna draw that. Now, if I have a switch that controls maybe this switch here and another switch, cancel. So 
which is a three-way switch. I can go to detail component. And there was, a, I believe, a three-way switch in there. So let's see, outlet switches, three-way. Notice what it does is it puts the three there. Okay, and I actually may delete this one out then and put back in the three-way switch there. Let's see, space bar, there we go. And now go back into my detail line. And there you have it. So that's pretty much how you're gonna do it. Now, depending on how your electrical plan is, it may be more or less than this. Once you have it in, so that is my basic deep uh, plan. Uh, I'm missing some switches and everything like that, but I do have the electric panel right there. Save everything. And then what we're gonna do is bring it into its own sheet. So we're gonna go to sheets, right click, new sheet, load, uh, title blocks. And we are gonna do an 11 by 17, hit open and okay. So now there it is. I'm gonna click on sheets where it says unnamed. I'm gonna right click on it, rename. And we can call this A101, uh, let's just call it electrical, let's call it electrical plan. For now, we could change it later on. Then we go to that electrical plan here I'm going to take and drag it on. And I'm going to notice that my crop region is pretty huge. So let's go to cancel. I'm just going to click on it and delete. I'm going to go back to that electrical plan. And I will go into show crop region. There we go. And I'm going to bring in the crop region really close. Like that, turn it off, go back to my sheet. And now I can drag that electrical plan in. And that's pretty small, let's drag it in. So we could change this to, we might get away with uh, one quarter. And that's how we drag our electrical plan in. Now what you need to do is you need to bring these components in over here. Okay, so annotate. Um, we need to bring them in. Uh, you may not be able to bring them in right here, so then we have to go back to our electrical plan. And I'm gonna go to that crop region again. And I'm gonna make a key or a legend right over here. So now I can go in and I can bring in my components, my electrical switch right here and anything else that I used. All right, uh, let's, uh, what else we got in there? Uh, recessed can lights, anything like that. Hit escape. And then I'm gonna go to annotate text. And let's try this one quarter, it might be fine. Yeah, it's a little little too big. Three thirty seconds. Uh, three way switch, and then you're gonna label everything that you brought in. Make sure it's even, so we have something like that. Bring that crop region in. We don't need it so far out. Hide that again. And now when I go to that electrical plan, drag in this, and that's it. So that's your basic way to make an electrical plan. Uh, so you're gonna wanna follow the rules that are um, attached on Google Classroom for the residential building code. Make sure you have everything in. Uh, if you're missing any components and stuff like that, I'll be populating Google Classroom and like that. This electrical plan, this right down here, that unnamed, we could change that so it's not going off, but that is your basics to making an electrical plan. Hope you enjoyed it.